everybody welcome back to the channel it is friday it is friday it's the weekend tgif guys y'all i be living living for the weekends okay i think that's something that happens when you get real close to retirement but <laughs> i am back tonight to record my video you won't be viewing it on friday but i'm gonna record it i had several videos up last week so i felt like i was good because i've been trying to do two videos a week and I think I got three up in one week so yeah I'm doing good so I'm back tonight just with some conversation another motivational video um today I, I thought about that I said this is feel good Friday so I started thinking and I was I've been following a lot of people who actually go live a lot and guys y'all know my my troubles with going live I used to have problems with going live when I lived in Memphis I think it had to do with me living downtown and I was within all of those buildings and my internet would be acting a fool so I've been my wi-fi is really good here so I said I'm gonna try and I think starting I'm gonna say starting with the summer months because it's gonna be getting late uh dark later so I said I'm gonna start what I call feel good Friday so I'm gonna start going live on Friday nights it won't be until I get home from work I usually work late on Fridays so it'll be seven-ish probably before I do it but I'll give you plenty of notification I'll probably put something on my community page so you guys would know it and also yeah it may be earlier than that I, I want you guys to send up a prayer for your girl I bid it out for a position in my company today well not today I bid it out for a position and I'll know something by next week um, the reason why I felt like it's mine <laughs> y'all know how I be manifesting stuff but the reason why I felt like that is because I had bid it for the position about a week and a half ago. And when I was at work, I did not have my resume on the computer or on my phone where I could attach it. And I was thinking that they wouldn't need that because I'm already working for them, right? So it said attach the resume and it would not let me go past that. And the deadline to, to apply for that position was 4.30 that day. So I was like, wow, I'm not gonna be able to do it. So I said, I'm just gonna have to miss it, right? So I just let it go. I didn't think nothing else about it. And this week, I think today is Friday, Tuesday, I think, the HR manager came to me. I was in my office and I saw her standing outside my door and I, I was thinking she was gonna talk to my boss, but um, she didn't. And when she looked at me, she was like, she was mouthing the words, are you on a call? And I was like, no, I said, I just finished. So she came in and she whispered to me, she said, I saw that you um, went online and internally to be for the position and then you didn't finish. And I said, yeah, I did. I said, I couldn't, I didn't have my resume so I couldn't finish it. So I just left it alone because the deadline was four. She said, well, are you still interested? I was like, of course. <laughs> and so she told me to go ahead, go home this evening, get my resume attached and finish it. And she would close, she was going to open it back up just so that I could do that and close it back up tomorrow, that next day at 4.30. I was like, wow, now why would she do that just for me? So I was like, hmm. So I went home and I did it. So guys, the position is an HR uh, administrator. And this is outside the realm of what I've ever done. But I feel like I have the skills for that. I've been in management for a number of years. Uh, I, I was in a sales coordinator at a hotel, so I'm very good at organizing. So y'all just say a prayer for your girl that this comes through for me. I have a really nice Monday through Friday schedule, you know, 8 to 4, and I'll be at the crib, okay? So y'all keep me in prayer for that just to sell out these last year or so with my, with, you know, me working in corporate America. I just want to sell out of it, not just being pressured to sell and things like that. So. Y'all keep me in prayer. But anyway, that was a long introduction. But tonight we're going to be talking about um, forgiveness and reconciliation being two different things. I did a podcast this week about that. And I thought I decided, you know, let me bring a video also. Uh, number, you're not listening to my podcast. Y'all don't follow the podcast. I wanted to bring that to you. Uh, my girlfriend and I were just having a conversation about forgiveness and what we feel we should do. You know, we think about how our he Heavenly Father forgives us for things. If he didn't, we'd be just like out there, right? You know, ain't nothing. We, we want forgiveness. So we were thinking about that in terms of people we know and things that, have, that they've done to us and how people treat you and just... You know how ugly the world can be 
and was saying that, you know, we had to remember and remind ourselves that just because you feel some forgive someone does not mean you have to reconcile with them. Y'all hear me? Now think about this. I want you to listen to this closely. You can forgive someone without reconciling with them. And here's the thing. A lot of people think that forgiveness means allowing a person back into your life in the same capacity that they were. It does not. Forgiveness is something actually that releases you from your mental bondage. Because oftentimes, when you haven't forgiven someone, you're carrying around um, anxiety, grudges, anger, sadness, because of things that has transpired between you and whoever. And, or a situation, it could be with your company or whatever. Anybody, I'm not saying just per se, we're not just talking about an intimate relationship. We're talking about friendships. We're talking about coworkers, whoever. Somebody that has done something that's very cruel or hard breaking to you and you feel like I'm not going to ever forgive them. Well, the forgiveness is actually for yourself. You're releasing yourself from that bunch. Now, let's say this, you know, I guess on the other side of that, the other person probably feels a little bit of relief if you say I have forgiven you because that makes them feel like that they in some way can get back into your life. But that doesn't mean that forgiveness and reconciliation is different things. When you reconcile with somebody, that means they are able to come back into your life in the same way or, you know, even more in your life. And you don't have to allow that. When somebody has abused your relationship, let's understand this because, you know, you get people that talk that are very religious. They talk about what if if God treated you that way? Here's the thing. (laughs) You don't have to allow people to abuse you. You don't have to allow allow people to mistreat you and... You can love them from a distance. You can love the people who have hurt you. You can love them, but that doesn't mean you have to allow them to be able to be in that situation to hurt you again. So that's why it's, it's you know important to understand what reconciliation is and what forgiveness is. Forgiveness means you're releasing yourself from whatever they put you in that, you know, the anger that you had. You're going to just let it go. You're going to let it go. You're going to move on. So that you can go on with your life and be able to live it to the fullest and not carry it with you, not carry grudges with you, not sit and sulk about it, not being angry all the time. You know, you got to work through whatever it was, that 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 pain. You got to do that. Sometimes you have to heal, but then you forgive them. You go ahead and forgive them, forgive them so that you can move on and just be free, free to do whatever you need to do with your life and not continue to replay it in your mind back here and every time you think about it you get angrier and angrier you know I learned that a while ago but I put it into practice in 2022 because I was always um, just thinking about what that person did I was saying to myself how could they do that this person's supposed to really care about me how could they do some of the things that they did this is somebody that's supposed to love me unconditionally but then I remember that they could be going on with their lives and not even thinking about anything that I'm thinking about and not even remember it not even caring about it and I'm sitting up here stuck trapped in my bondage of grudge or hurt or anger and I said you know what I'm releasing this and when I came to terms with that release I was free I have not struggled with it I have not shed any more tears about it I have moved on and I talk about this a lot with girlfriends that I have who are going through certain things in their lives I'm like just forgive and move on so that you can live your life and be free free from it you can't change people people have to change themselves and if you sit around and wait you could your life could be over before that ever happens so go ahead and let it go Go ahead on and forgive so that you can fly like a bird and be free and be happy and joyous and not continue to replay this stuff in your mind and live your life and love them from over there because we got to love. Keep loving them. Keep praying for them and all of that. But move on in your life and you don't have to reconcile to be in that same situation. I thought I'd share that because it's important for us to understand the difference. It doesn't make an evil person because... You know, a lot of people, I've heard people say, I'm not ever forgiving them. 
but you what you're saying is actually that I'm not gonna ever forget it and I'm gonna keep myself trapped in my mind of anger and we don't want to do that we want to keep it be able to live our lives release ourselves from stress anxiety and have a happy abundant life it's some people that I have released from my life that I love with everything in me but I cannot allow the same negativity the same toxicity the abuse the constant abuse you know over and over and over again so I choose to love them from over there and just walk my path and be happy and you could do that too I just thought I'd share that tonight with you ladies I hope you all have a wonderful weekend I want to thank some ladies who suggested it was two ladies who suggested for me some plants that they wanted they told me to get for my apartment um, I was I've said on a couple of videos to all these green thumbs out here to tell me of a plant that was low light so I had two ladies I can't remember their names right now but I'll put it on the screen that did suggest that I get one of them what well, both of them told me to get the snake plant so guys I went to Walmart and I got me a snake plant I'm so her name is Peggy guys here she is she's she's beautiful and it was in this nice pot so I got that this is Peggy so Peggy is gonna be in my living room and then one of the ladies also told me to get a peace lily because these are like very low maintenance very low light they don't have to it says low to medium light so they're very forgiving if you don't water them as much as you're supposed to but I think these are good starter plants for me to have in my home uh, I used to have a flower bed rose bed in my yard when I had my house and they just came back every year it was low maintenance they just they just came back but when plants for some reason I always I could never keep them so hopefully we'll do good with this one and I'm gonna get the peace lily I'm gonna get that one for the room here and yeah so thank you ladies for the suggestions I do have that and I'm so you know thankful for the ladies that reached out and suggested that for me so also I want y'all to see that picture that I got I hope you can see that on my wall let me zoom in when I went and got the frame um, from um, Michael's so I did hang that so yeah it is Friday guys feel good Friday so you hope you all have a wonderful weekend if you are new to the channel make sure you don't leave without giving me a thumbs up and subscribing turning on the notifications so that you'll know when I upload videos oh yeah I meant to say thank you all for your, for all of your suggestions I did do a poll on my computer community page if you have not went and participated in that poll please go out there and do it I ask you what videos do you like most right now they're saying a mixture of vlogs and motivational videos I have those out there as well as natural hair videos so go out and do your vote I have a lot of ladies that's on here go vote for me please because I want to make sure that I'm giving content that you guys enjoy and that we can all be you know uh, be able to communicate and you know come in and have you know fellowship with one another sisterhood all of that good stuff so thank you so, and all the returning ladies you know I love you all so peace and love kisses and hugs and I will see you guys real soon okay have a great weekend bye